Okay, here's the update to the grow shelf. Uh, I have uh, added this extra five feet onto the edge here. Again, I still have the uh, emergency blankets on the outside. I have my shelving down there. And more pots and dirt and some leftover pots that I'm going to take the, uh, the dirt out of and feed it to my worms. Um, down here is uh, Velcro tabs. That's how I'm holding this down. I found uh, I put a rod down in the middle, and it makes it you know one big piece here. Uh, this keeps the, the heat in real well. Folds up, makes a nice door. You can see in when it's uh, when it's up. Okay. So here's the, the whole setup. Um, it is heated uh, from this sensor here. It doesn't really record very well on it. But you see it's 76, it's set on 81. You can adjust it, set it to run the fan, set it to run whatever. Down here um, is the oil heater and that's what that that's running there uh, and then that heats up through the floor to the bottom up into this area here uh, this is my warm side this is where I'll start germinating everything and then the other side ends up actually being a little bit cooler um, but but it works out really good uh, we have um, ghost peppers down here they're doing amazing absolutely amazing it's about time to raise up this light here yeah we'll raise that up after this um, Anyway, ghost peppers there. More ghost peppers over here. These are my personal stash of of ghost peppers. I'm gonna make them a little bit trimmed out using the Praxis method, and uh, kind of go in from there. I don't really know what we got growing in there. It's something. I think it might be tomatoes. Not sure. I just put some dirt in there and they started growing. Um, these other things in here are they're called shell flowers. It's the Mother's Day gift that we're that we're planting or we did plant for for Mother's Day for the moms. So hopefully those will come up by that time. So we started those on the 19th. Kind of have an interesting label here. If you guys get any of my plants, you'll, I'll send the label to. Um, but the S is the start date. The P is the plant date. There's a couple of them that I actually transferred because they got moldy. Um, here is my jalapenos and scotch bonnets. Scotch bonnets just take a little bit more time to to grow, but jalapenos are. I mean, that's that's a pretty decent sized leaf there it's actually not even the biggest one that I have uh, this one back here is the the big guy let me just leave things as big as my hand I don't have little hands I don't have big hands but I don't have little hands that thing's huge um, down in here I have my seedlings started. These are black pearls and um, uh, we got Trinidad's and chocolate habaneros and more Trinidad's and ghost peppers and all sorts of stuff. So those are those are going to be coming up. I actually started those a little bit later than the rest of them. I've been waiting until they get their their leaves poked out which I kind of read was not the right thing to do, but that's how I did it before. And uh, here's some, some more of those 
ghost peppers over there definitely are ready to be up potted. I don't know if you can see in the bottom of this, this is where I water. I'll kind of go over my watering here in a little bit. But in the bottom of that, I have vermicompost. And uh, I guess, you know, I thought about doing some uh, vermicompost tea. And I just thought, you know, why not sprinkle it from the bottom? I'm bottle watering anyway. They're going to get it. It's going to get a tea bath every time that I water. So I might as well. Uh, this is the parsley here and, and basil. Um, and once I did that, the jalapenos, I mean, shot up. I bet they grew two inches in two days, maybe an inch and a half in two days. But they uh, are absolutely amazing and in comparison to the other ones. Um, what else do we have? I still have, I got some be some peas over here. They're... They're growing. I don't, I don't really care much about them right now. It's still too early to, to even get those out anywhere. I'll probably put them out in the garden or out in the in the greenhouse. This is the uh, the set that I just did. It just started like two days ago. Um, first time I've used the black squares, and uh, this is the hottest side, so they get they, they eat the water, which which is pretty good, I guess, for me because I. I tend to overwater, so with this heat underneath, it it uh, dries it out it's just overnight. Plus, with the fans there. Oh yeah, I didn't I didn't show you the fans. There's uh, there's one fan there that's running on a 30 minute timer. And then I have more fans over here, and they're running on 30 minute timers as well. Um, and they're running back, so the air's you know going this way on this side, and then that way on that side, and. Uh, Gives, gives a nice flow in there with my power outlet. Yeah, yuck. Um, anyway, uh, over here are mostly ghost peppers and trinidads uh, that are coming up. Um, and then I also did some of these indigo apples. I'm, uh, I'm really excited about those. Those are direct sown in there. It's the only thing that I've direct sown thus far. Um, everything has been... Uh, done with the plastic bagging method which I have right here um, let's see if we can find some of this spread it I actually went through this just yesterday and or two days ago and did these but no, here you go here's one that's spreaded there's the ghost from eBay CDS I, I started these on the 23rd uh, I transferred them on the third today's the fifth uh, when I transferred them, I did them a 30-minute soak in um, a tablespoon of hydrogen peroxide and a quart of uh, water, and just regular old tap water, too. So I know there were some questions about that on the, on the forum. I, I use it. I use it every time that I, that I water, every time that I see a little bit of mold, everything. Here's a question for you. I don't know if Praxis is actually going to watch this or not, but I have some seedlings coming up. These are Trinidads. And these seedlings here, I can't really get a good shot on that. They are starting to come out of the, the seed head with four leaves already. They have their second leaves, and they haven't even lost their seed head yet. It's awesome I don't I've never seen that before that's uh that's cool again I have the the worm poop in there um anyway these are all Trinidads these are these are gonna go good I, I really expect these to sell well um I think I'll probably end up asking like 10 bucks or 15 bucks or the butch teas so 15 dollars a piece should should be sufficient so um what else do I got uh, there's some some pots that I got for like 50 cents a piece. Those pots were 25 cents a piece. Um, this is my dirt. It has a mixture of Miracle Grow and uh, a little bit of vermicompost in there. Um, it it's good. I haven't haven't had a lick of problems out of it. Uh, these are trays in here, and this is um, my vermicompost. Um, tub 
uh, if you look, we have newspapers in there that's, uh, they're actually starting to break down really well. And there is the Roma compost in there. I have it right next to the heater. And it keeps them really nice and warm. And they, uh, they've been, they've been trucking along. Hopefully I'll have a bunch here soon. Um, I guess the last thing that I have is I repurpose everything. Here's my seed container. I'm kind of happy about it. Check this out. There's my seeds. These first aid kits work amazing. It's everything I need for seeds. Anyway. Oh, last thing. I have uh, some sun chokes in here. Uh, there's one. Look, it's rooting out. There's my sun chokes. Awesome. Real excited. Really excited. I'll uh, I'll do another video here um, tonight, probably on how I do my cups. There was a, another question about that about up potting into solo, solo cups and doing the bottoms. I did uh, the I used a screwdriver and melted it out into that kind of uh, an arrangement there. Same thing with the Dixie cups that I used. Uh, originally, let me see the bottom of this. Get it out here. There's the bottom. So I did the same thing there. Anyway, there's my boy. Say hi, Jackson. Yo, bro. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> we don't talk like that. Um, okay, well, that's it. Uh, we'll get to water in these things. are kind of getting a little bit dry, but uh, we'll uh, talk to you later.